Hi, thanks so much for joining me. I'm delighted you're here. I've made my cup of tea. I've cleaned up the uh, kettle and put the cream back into the fridge and we're all good to go. And I'm going to update you on what we're doing here. But hey, how did you like that video on Friday? Wasn't that pretty good? I love it when people invest in teenagers, especially family members, and help them achieve something that might be difficult for them. That's a really good thing to do. So we invest in all kinds of things, but when we invest in family, that's even better. So what I'm going to do here today is I'm going to cut away to spin our intro. And while we're doing that, I'm going to gather up my tools here. And when we come back, I'm going to show you exactly what we've been doing here, carving on this armrest. So stay tuned for that. It's coming right up. Let's spin that intro. Hi, I'm Monty McKinnon, and today what we're going to do is examine the armrests that we've been working on. And as you can see, I've taken the bracing out of here just so that I can get in here and start to cut this back. Now what I did is I took a pencil and I simply drew a line right in around here that was approximately leaving me about three quarters of an inch to an inch of, of wood here. The next challenge was to take the chisel, and I started with a one inch chisel here, and I started carving down in here to make this thing so that you could see that it's on a bit of a slant. And you'll see that, I think you can get a glimpse of that right here. Can you see that all right? And so this works quite well with this bench. I can put this thing in so many different configurations so that I can come at it this way. I can come at it this way. And one of the things, by the way, I should have mentioned and I've forgotten, it's important. You can see the green tape in there. That's to protect the sides of the guitar. Just in case my hand slips, as you know, that tremor and it shakes. If it, the chisel hits that, I don't want it to mess up the inside of the guitar so it would hit that, that tape and protect it somewhat. Now, what I use here is obviously the chisels. I've got a half inch, a three eighths. I've got the one inch chisel, and I have brought that all the way down here uh, in order to get this nice and smooth. Now, part of the problem is grain is running this way, grain is running this way, and that can be cumbersome when you're trying to get this thing nice and smooth. So you do the best you can, and you use a scraper. This is a small scraper. It came from uh, Stumac, and I also have this scraper, which I like to use. And this is from a, uh, another source. This is a blade from a planer, as you see over here. And it works quite well because I want to get this thing in such a shape that it's sloped this way into the guitar this way here. Now I've gone over this with the sanding disc. This is all perfectly smooth, ready for the top to be applied, but we haven't got the braces on that. We're coming up to that very, very soon. Now, this is a flat spoke shave, which I used at one point, and this is the convex where it's rounded on the outside, and I can do this and come back and forth and do this in here. These are handy tools. I got these at Lee Valley. You can get them at different places, but I just happened to be there and I picked those up. Now, when you get into this, you'll come down to about halfway and you're getting a nice curve in here and you're getting a nice curve here, but they meet. So in order to get that nice and round and smooth and coming right around, what I've got here is a one and a half inch piece of PVC pipe and then I've wrapped some uh, towel around it, and then I've covered it with tape. So it's, it's somewhat soft. And then I simply take the sandpaper and roll up a piece of sandpaper on this, and then I simply do this. I just, just let my wrist roll, and it goes back and forth. Now, I don't do too much of this because, as you know, with the camera equipment in here, oh my goodness, that would be a no-no to get dust on that. 
So we don't want to do that. Now, I'm progressing quite well. I will continue to do this and then I will finish it. Now, do you recall in a previous video, I, this is a, a piece that we had cut off from the end of here and it was kind of warped. And I mentioned that to flatten this, which I have done, I would spray it with some of that solvent, Super Soft 2, sprayed it, put it between two boards, clamped it so it's fairly thin and flat. Now what I'm gonna do is curve this. It's going right up in here as an extra layer cross grain in order to strengthen this because we're gonna put a sound port up in here and you're gonna love it when I do that. So you wanna stay tuned for that. So that's coming up. This chisel, by the way, I just want to show you this and then we'll we'll call it a day here because I'm getting a little tired. This one is curved to allow me to come back like this, but honestly, I'm I'm not really that happy with it. Now, I am feeling tired as I mentioned, so I think when I start feeling tired, I know I make mistakes. So the thing to do is put the tools down, leave it, come back tomorrow do some more. I'll finish this off so that, you know, the boring part of the sanding and all that you don't have to worry about. So if you haven't subscribed to us, please do. Hit the like button if you like this, and by all means, please stay around. I, I like to have you here, and I like your comments. Please feel free to comment and let me know what you think, and we'll, we'll get into that. Now, down below, and it will be this side here, where the subscribe button is on the other side, uh, is the comment section. And I do read all your comments, and I try to get back to you as best I can. In the center of the page is the community section, and I try to write some blurbs in there as well. So by all means, check that out. So the email addresses are down below. There are links down below to some of the tools that I'm using, if that's of any interest or value to you. By all means, uh, check them out. Thank you so much for being here. It's always a pleasure. And now it is time to enjoy. And I'm telling you, because I'm so tired, I'm really, really enjoying this English breakfast tea. There's nothing on the planet quite as nice as English breakfast tea. I know there's all kinds of other teas and whatnot, and people have been telling me about that. I'd like to try some of them, but seriously, they've got a long way to go to match this, because this stuff is just so good. All right, that's it for me. Thank you very much. I'm done. I'm out of here. I'm going up. Bye for now.